Welcome into another edition of Camp and Dolphins. I'm Mike Cuno. Now the Finns are off today, so we made Kimbo Camper come into work. <laughs> Bo, thanks for being here. Really right. quick, I want to get your your thoughts on and your first impressions yeah. of Brian Flores as he kind of wades into being a head coach yeah. for the first time. Yeah, I, I think he's got a plan. He wants a disciplined football team. He wants a football team that's not going to beat himself. Mm -hmm. And I like the idea that you know it takes no talent. The thing, be there on time for meetings. Don't jump off sides. Hold yeah. your water when you need. All those types of things are important, cutting down on penalties. But more importantly, I think he's going to he's really going to focus in on the small details. Mm -hmm. And if you know football, small details can lead to some big success. And I think he's going to really harp on that every single day. Now, later this week on Saturday, we're going to have the team's yep. first scrimmage. I know everyone wants to see what's going to happen with the quarterback yep. situation. No matter who ends up being the week one starter, how would you like to see that shake out during the season? Well, you know, I, I, you need to find out if Josh Rosen can play. You mm -hmm. need to find out if he can be the guy, not only for this year, but next year and, and maybe the next 15 years, because that's what you get out of a franchise quarterback. You also need to find out if he's not that guy. So I think it's going to be a tough balancing act yeah. uh, for Brian Flores uh, in this football team to get enough work for Rosen, still looking, still make it a competitive situation. Yeah. Problem I have is I just can't see him bringing a guy that's coming to come in and give you anything more than six, seven, eight wins. So what's the point if you're looking at a young guy that could be your future? I think he needs to get as much work as possible. I'm talking yeah. about Josh Rosen. Yeah, absolutely. Now let's flip over to the other side of the ball, defensive side. I want to talk about a little bit about the linebackers, mm -hmm. a guy who's kind of emerged. Is this Cam Wake part two, yeah. Sam? You go Vaughn from the CFL yeah. trying to steal jobs in that linebacker court. What have you seen out of him? Well, he's, like, an, he's an active guy, and, and I think what they really like, they like his coverage skills out mm -hmm. there, something that Raquan McMillan needs to kind of get himself going. And, 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 you know, I think they're trying to find out both on offense and defense in a lot of different positions what multiple things players can do and how they can use mm -hmm. them. I think that's part of it. But look, com competition at that linebacker spot, which I think is going to be key for this football team. That front seven really is going to be key for this football team on defense. I'm very satisfied with the backside of that defense. Yeah. But those guys up the front seven needs to improve. They need to be more fundamentally sound out there.